Okay, guys, it's Liana, aka La Italian Princess, and you're now watching the Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. 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 Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Woo! Honestly, the come up has been crazy. Like when it's been I, fun because I know you a long time. And for me, when I was like, damn, she blew up is when I saw Joey Diaz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ella. That's so funny, the Joey Diaz thing, because I was like, 7 o'clock in the morning, I'm going through my DMs. Some random kid DMs me, oh, you were on Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz was talking about you. Uh, here's the link. I thought it was like a virus link. So I'm like, I'm not freaking pressing this. Like, you know? So then I went to Joey Diaz's Instagram profile, uh -huh. and I saw it said follow back. I'm like, oh, maybe he's right. So I copied and pasted it. I watched the video. I was like, oh my God, this is so funny. Like, you're like the female Joey Diaz. You think so? But like 400 pounds lighter. But <laughs> like the way she talks. I'd probably out eat him though. Yeah. Joey Diaz, if you're watching. <laughs> Wait, so how, what, did he, what did he post about you? He was on he, a podcast. He posted, it was like really nice. He was like, he was scrolling through Instagram one day and like he saw this like Italian girl with her nonna and how nice it is yeah. to see like the young generation is still like, like really with their grandparents yeah, yeah, yeah. and all this. And then he goes, Oh, she can eat. He was like, <laughs> it'll be like he nine. Was in love? He, he was like, he, no, but he was really nice. He yeah. wasn't creepy about it. He was like, oh, nine o'clock in the morning, she'll be eating a prosciutto sandwich. Yeah. Then at night, she has this whole spread for dinner. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's me. That's basically what it is. Yeah. That, that is amazing, though, that you're so in tune with the culture and you. Are, do you live with your nonna? No, everybody thinks so. My nonna lives like five minutes away. She's lived like that for like my whole life. Yeah. So I'm um, so I'm always over there. But you guys could relate, like. Summer camp was Nunna's house. Yeah. Every break was Nunna's house. The weekend was Nunna's house. So I just grew up always going to my Nunna's house. So now, in my old age, I'm going to my Nunna's house. Your old age. <laughs> How old are you again? 26. Yeah, old oh age. Oh, my God. But you're, you're, like, age, you're an old soul, though. I'm an old soul. So that's why me and my Nunna... My Nunna goes to sleep later than I do. It'll be like 9 o'clock. I'm sleeping over my Nunna's house. I'm like, Nunna, I'm going to sleep. She's like, already? I'm like, yeah, it's, I got to go to sleep. A that's a tough life. That's, that's a great relationship yes. you two have, though. And yeah. you could tell it's genuine. Too. Yes, that's my bestie. I, I hate when people fake the, like, or they use their nona for content. Me too. You, you, you do it out Me of love. Me too. You know what I mean? And you know what? When I first started, you know, you get She doesn't like, even do it like that, though. Like, it's like, like usually when she does, she's like bringing nona stuff from the market. It's like yeah, genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you're yeah. not like pranking your nona right. ever. No, because I'm, I'm really with my nona every day. Like, I'm, after this, me and my nona are going to get pizza. Like, you know, yeah. like, we're going out to eat tonight. So, like, I'm always with her. Like, I take her food shopping. I take her to the doctor. I take her here. I take her there. So, I just started. I was like, you know what? I'm here anyways. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, I first I started showing the food my nana was making. And then everybody loved seeing my nana. So, I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, let me show my nana. But it's so funny. When we first started, she didn't want to do any videos. Yeah. You know? That's she, usually how it is. She yeah. didn't want. And I used to say, before I started, I'm like, nana, smile. Like, because she'd be <laughs> looking at the screen like this. I'm like, smile, nana. Wait, so, like, what's, you what's your nana's name? Elena. Elena. Okay, and where is she from in Italy? Abruzzo. Okay. Escada. Abruzzo. Yes, yes. We just had Briella on. She's Abruzzo. I saw, Italy. I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see too many people who are That's from Abruzzo. That's what I'm Abruzzo. saying. I never meet people from Abruzzo. You know what I'm learning? Are you full Abruzzo or no? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So I'm learning as we go that we have a deeper connection with people from Abruzzo than I've ever thought. Like, we yes. come from Campania. But yes. there's, I can tell the way you talk, not even because it's Italian-American Italian -American or New York-Italian, but the way you talk to your nonna is 90% of how yeah, yeah, the dialect is similar talk yeah. to our nonna. So it's true. So my nonna, his parents were from like Naples, Salerno area, like somewhere over Campania. there. Okay. When he was little, they went to Abruzzo. So like my dialect is like a little bit of a okay, mix of the why, two. Maybe? So that's why. Yeah. But my little brother who's in the Navy, he's stationed outside of Naples. He was learning that like the Napolitan dialect or the Abruzzo dialect, one of them is like a combination of the two. Right. So mm -hmm. that's why it's like so similar. So, cause I'm always around like Napolitan people yeah. and I understand them. So yeah, I'm like, yeah. they're like, oh, can you understand Napolitan dialect? I'm like, yeah, I can. I, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm listening, <laughs> you know, I, but I don't tell them right away. Cause I'm yeah, one of those yeah. sneaky, yeah, those yeah, sneaky yeah, people. Yeah. So people be talking. Listen I'm, first. Have you ever had listening. anybody like talking smack about you in Italian? Mm, never. I don't want to jinx it. Because <laughs> <There's laughs> you're going to go to all like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to jinx it. it. But my mom and my nunna do it all the time. So. I, what I do want to say is, okay, you, you go shopping a lot with nunna, right? Yes. And what I noticed is 
there's kind of an effect at the places you go to a lot and the places you work. Cause I'm like, what is this girl doing working in the deli? Like on Saturdays, <laughs> like out of all days, but like, <laughs> I see like you have like a cult following that go to these places. Cause you, because Sapori del Valo, right? Like, yes. That's my spot. Exactly. So Carmine is my cousin's cousin. And, um, basically when, uh, he was like, we're talking about social media and he's like, I need, I need somebody to help me out. Like you should talk to this time princess. She's from Long Island. She's like blowing up over here. And then I remember like a couple weeks after he's like, man, the princess is sending people <laughs> like she's getting people to come here. So that's my spot. So funny story. I went over there. That place is a cast of characters, yeah. the Italians in there. So the little deli that I work out now that I help out at, um, Italian street market in Limbrook out in Long Island by me. Um, I had met the little old man, Vincenzo. I call him uncle Vinny. I had met him over there. So he wanted me to come over there or he was, uh, you know, I was like, I'll come over there. I'll come do some videos. So I went over there. I was doing my videos. Mm -hmm. Then he needed help at the deli. So I was like, Oh, might as well. I'm going to start oh, working. That's where you, I saw a couple of your videos. You were like doing sandwiches. Yeah. Right? I'm I'm like, wow, now, it's not now, a facade. Now, like, now, she's actually... deli, girl, I, that's what people think. They think it's a joke, but then they come into the deli. They're like, Oh my God, you're really here. I'm like, I don't make <laughs> so this she's up. like Tommy and Prashut, but she's actually there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually oh. over there. So if you come over there, I'm, I say I ring you up. Yeah, I'm not going to make a sandwich, though. That's the only thing. I don't make anything. But, like, I'll ring you up. But um, but I love doing it. And, yeah. like, that's my favorite place to work. Because what do I do? I sit there. I eat these big sandwiches. Mm. He's the best. Like, he's always asking me, you want this? You want that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How long is the shift? Like, three hours. <laughs> uh, I was expecting, like, So you, you just go there to eat, theoretically. <laughs> I go there. You know? he, he tells me I can do whatever I want. I go there. I eat. I'm on my phone doing my videos. Bada bing, bada boom, and yeah. a customer comes in, I ring them up, I do this, I, but hey, it's not bad. You know what's funny? Because me and Rock, both of our dads own delis, right? Mm -hmm. And growing up, I know for sure, our Zio that owns the deli with him, if you guys would eat, he'd be like, you guys eat already? Like, a yeah. dollar to make, a dollar to lose. Is too, <laughs> you know? like yeah. so, so that's the opposite. It's the opposite. So I get there like around 10 a.m., and as soon as I sit down, Principessa, you want something to eat? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he starts whipping out this big sandwich. He takes out the prosciutto, which is half his size. He's cutting it on the slicer. Um, it's and a then, good gig. Yeah, it's a good gig. Then it's like 12 o'clock. He'll, Principessa, you want some pasta? I'm like, yeah, a little pasta. You know, it's not bad. You want an espresso? You want th anything you want? He says, I could, I could help myself too. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like... Pasta and a sandwich the same day? In I don't even remember. Within, within, within three a three-hour hour shift. In a three-hour time <laughs> span. <laughs> Been at eek. I come home, I knock out for like three hours because I'm like, this is too much food. And then you go out to dinner because it's a Saturday night. And then night. I go out to dinner because it's a Saturday you gotta night. You got to do what I eat in a day video. I don't think you've done oh that. Oh, my God. Yet. Everybody wants to see you a, have to a, do what I like, eat in a day. Uh, what I eat in a typical day. But you day. know what, too? Like, I'll post what I'm eating and people, oh, she doesn't eat that. She takes one bite and throws That's it gonna out. That's going to be my next thing. Like you, There's no way you eat the whole sandwich. Oh, I eat the whole sandwich. Half now, half I, later. So when I'm at Support Del Valo, like I'll be sitting at a table and I'll have a whole pizza in front of me. And like there'll be people at the other tables watching me like I'm in a food competition. Like they want to see if I'm really eating it. And afterwards, they're like, oh my God. Eat this, the whole pie? Yeah. They're like, this girl really can eat a pizza. But it's a personal <laughs> though. The personal. But, but it's a nice size. Yeah. It's like a nice like size Italian pizza. Like Italian style pizza. Italian size. style. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. I could probably eat two pizzas. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, nobody believes it until they see it in person. I'm like, yeah, huh? See, I feel accomplished. After yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> when people explain you, because they people like been requesting this show, and they go, well, this girl, what does she only do? Does she eat? That's yeah. it? Only does it's so eat? funny you say that, because I know, like, when people say, oh, the girl that eats a lot, that I'm like, oh, it's me. Like, you know? Like, I know that that's who they're talking about. But it doesn't show. So there has to be a trick. Like, how do you eat all this food and... Jinx me. <laughs> how do you eat all this food and... I don't know. I, I don't know myself. People ask me too. Go to like, the gym. I obviously. go to the gym. So I work out twice a day. So I don't want to. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Twice okay. a day. Yeah. It's no so, secret. When she's I, not eating, she's twice, working out. Twice a day, seven days a week. So maybe that might be what it is. You take no days off? If I'm tired, I'll take a day off. But I don't have set rest days. So if, I, if I'm like, uh, I don't feel like it, then I won't go. But I got nothing to do during the day. So I'm like, this is what I do. I work out and I eat and I take naps. So you do social media full time? Full time. How long? Um, since I started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically, I think when I first saw her page, she had like, it was very early on. 
Yeah, I don't right. know. How I had many like are... a couple thousand on on TikTok, maybe like three yeah, or four yeah, thousand. I think on Instagram you just started it. On Instagram, I recently just started because I never used Instagram really, like to post videos. And people were always saying to me, "You have a following on TikTok. Why aren't you posting on Instagram?" Because I was like, oh, "I mean, it's just TikTok. double the work." Double yeah, the double work. the work. But then I started just posting the same things on TikTok and Instagram. So yeah. I'm like, now my Instagram is like pretty good too. Your Instagram's lit. Yeah, it blew well, up. The one thing I'll say about your content, I feel like you just. You'll post like five, six times a day. You oh, don't care. Forget about it. Yeah. Forget about, I'll have people be like, oh, I can't. Bing, 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 bing. Like, oh. just, especially in the beginning. You were like. Oh, forget my stories. Like, Wait, you got to go like this like, through my stories. They're like, yeah. like teen hands. Yeah. Like, like, your, your finger hurts after going through my stories. But that's like, I'll have people be like, oh, I can't post this because I already posted today. I'm like, you already po- I already posted five videos. That's this past hour. Like, you know, <laughs> what do you mean you just posted? But I feel like that's what helps the algorithm. Mm. You know, like posting a million things. I feel like we need advice. Like you need to tell us like what what like what's your My your... thing is I don't care. You know, if I if I I like I'm a chiacchierone. I like to talk as you could see, you know. So if I I'll, I'll be doing like a million videos and I run out of time in one video. So then I got to spew it over to the next video into the next video and You're if, saying like a minute at a shot? Yeah, mm-hmm. right, right. Okay. And if I like the video, what am I going to not post it? No, I'm going to post it if right I away, like it. Right away. If right away. Yeah. Right away. I don't save it. I do it right away. So you have no drafts. No drafts. Wow, that's you have nothing on ice. No, but that's what it is. She wakes up like, let's go, let's get it, let's eat sandwich and make a video. That's what I do. I just make videos. So let's talk about the name though. Okay, how how did that happen? So I didn't put any thought into my name, and like you know, like all like Italian American girls, like we all call ourselves like Italian princess, you know, principessa, Bella, some Bella, like something like that. Like you go, like you see always on like short shorts, Italian princess, like so that's like. So one day I was so bored. I'm like, let me make a TikTok. And mm-hmm. that's the first thing that popped in my head. I didn't think anything of it. Italian princess was taken. Mm-hmm. So I was like, let me try the Italian princess. The Italian princess was taken. So la in Italian is the. I'm like, all right, let me do la Italian princess. That was, thankfully, that yeah. wasn't taken. Yeah. So um, so it, there was no thought behind the name either. There's yeah, really like the first time no I thought, thought. I'm like, is she from LA? Like, yeah, I, oh that's my God, exactly that's what, what everybody thinks. Too. Everybody thinks that, and I don't real. At first, I wasn't realizing it. Like people were saying, "Oh, I wish you were in New York." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> well, you're I'm in Long Island. It's not like oh yeah, it's oh, not Brooklyn. All right, all right. <laughs> and this is Williamsburg. This is not Brooklyn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what what is it then? What is it? Queens. <laughs> it's very close. All right, wait, 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 I'm gonna get start mad beef right yeah, now. Yeah. All right. So you said they gotta pay me. What does it take to get a lot of Italian princess to your your establishment? Just to re- reach out to me. So, like, that's the thing. I feel like maybe sometimes businesses are a little nervous to reach out to me, which I don't know why, or, like, maybe shy, but shy is not really the right word. But if you reach out to me... Give us the rules to reach out. All right, what's the first thing? Email. Because you, you have the email I got my email in my bio. Send me a nice little email. Hi, I want you over here. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll, I'll tell you... This is the budget? I'll tell you. Yeah, right. You yeah. know, and then we'll work, out, we'll work it out. But I'll go. You have a cheaper cash price? You look like you have a cheaper cash price. Oh, like an like under if it's the table, if it's like under the if it's like a couple of hundred, you know, if it's if it's hundreds, it's yeah, yeah, it's maybe, a little maybe. Less. It's just DM, just send me a message. We'll, we'll take care out. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, let me think now. If I got any places in, in Benson, what's the furthest you've been to do a working like a working video? Is it only New York, or you try? It's only New York. Wait, it's will, only. Will New Will you York. go to Jersey or no? Um, yes, I'm going to New Jersey next week. Do so you know they send a helicopter. Do you know where I would love to go? Lancaster. But like that's so. Oh, that's that's, yeah. a, that's the first time anyone said that I sentence do, out loud. If an Amish person said to me, "Come over here and do a video," I would do it for free. <laughs> yeah, I but you know, like free. that's never gonna happen because I know, they don't, they don't have, do videos. But I they love, don't have a phone to see the video. I love Lancaster. If I could change what I was, I would be Amish. 100%. Wow, why? Because it's just such you wouldn't a, be able to do social media. I know, but I feel like I wouldn't care because you're in out in like. The forest, like the There's farmlands. There's no prosciutto out there. Yeah, but they got, no they, got, they got their equivalent to Supersata. What? What's the equivalent to Supersata? They got some. They got a uh, shoe fly pie. <laughs> That's Supersata? <laughs> no, what the hell is a shoe fly pie? That's <laughs> like the most good. unappetizing sticky thing buns, ever. Sticky buns. Sticky buns. That's... But I'm saying I that was Hawaiian. No, no yeah. but I'm saying no sticky buns are Amish. But they got... I'm saying they got their own good stuff. Like we got Supersata. So you're... Changing super sad shoe for flying shoe uh, fly, shoe? shoe fly pie and sticky buns. I don't know. I think that's a bad jams, choice. jams, like fresh jam. 
That bread and could jam you imagine all day? Yeah, fresh you bread? Fucking... Could you imagine? Could you imagine waking up? You hear the birds chirping, beautiful fresh air. You go downstairs. The milk is already churned, or the butter is already. <laughs> well, you churned. mean like you just milked your cow? You just milked your well, cow. Well, let me tell you something. If you're in that situation, you didn't just milk your cow. You got to go. Somebody else milk it for you. Oh, okay. Let's say you. So got you want to be a else. bougie Amish person? I want to be a bougie <laughs> okay. Amish person. So All right, let's say that. I go. I got my nice dress on. Like I don't care about what I'm wearing. I don't have to do my hair because I put the bonnet on, and now I'm buttering bread. And that's how my day is. So you you're changing your your prosciutto sandwich for breakfast. And three hours of work. 100%. Or going to milk I cows. And I wouldn't even hesitate. I wouldn't even I hesitate. I feel like there's like a show out there for this. Like this. La, La, La Amish the, Princess. The Amish, <laughs> La Amish Princess. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think you know what you're signing up for. For what? For being Amish? Yeah, I, I think you're missing out on I that. love Lancaster. I've I do. never been there. I do. So if there's any Amish people watching this... They're not. They're not. They're not. <laughs> no, but they we're gonna, got, we're they gonna got, have to write them no, some letters. Got, if you got, have a le- if you have an address that we could send letters to, to <laughs> switch to be an Amish, she's interested. They don't have to worry about cars. They got the horse and buggy. I, I mean, know. come on. I don't know. You cut out for that life? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I I think if it's we made this a reality, like. I think we should get rid of six hundred pound life and make this a show. My Amish life, like yeah, like Taliana's, like you have the show where the escaping Amish, where they want to leave the Amish. You wanna I want to be Amish. Yeah. That'd be. A, I would pay to watch that. Honestly. You would. Like how you, much you, you try and convert? Episodes. Ten episodes. They, they get ten bucks out of you. Yeah, ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten, ten episodes. A dollar an episode. Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna make any money. Oh, but then I wouldn't need money. But I wouldn't need money. I wouldn't need money. Yeah, you wouldn't need money. You should do it. You, you, should do you it. would live off the land. Jams. Teach me how to Amish. I guarantee you after two days of eating jams and milk, you're done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and fly shoe pie. <laughs> shoe fly pie. Do you, let me tell you What's something. in a shoe fly pie? It's like, fly, fly it's shoe like a pie. graham cracker crust. All right? Uh-huh. Uh, maybe it's not called shoe fly pie. I, 100% it is. And chocolate <laughs> pudding in the graham cracker. Isn't that in what we ate cra- in, in Rhode Island? That's Boston cream pie. No, but there's no cream. Yeah. So it's just chocolate, that. Oh, chocolate pie. no. And whoopie pies. That's what they're known for. Whoopie pies. Have you dated an Amish guy? What's Have the, I dated an Amish guy? Yeah, no. what's the situation? But I wouldn't be opposed to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you're Amish, the and Italian, you're about to be a the lot Italian, of Amish guys. Wait, the oh, Italian sorry. ones aren't working out, so maybe I got to do an Amish one. What's funny is there's this kid that was like Amish playing basketball. He was a lefty on TikTok. He was viral. He oh, how the hell is that allowed? He shot in like a farm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was shooting in a barn. You ever saw those videos? Homemade, homemade basket. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's, yeah, yeah. your kind of guy. What is your kind of guy? Well, let's like, let's talk about that a little bit. I like a. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holy shit! Enough. We said. call that how you doing? I like a guy who you know. <laughs> Usually <laughs> usually people say like this. Like, yeah, that's, that's my that, that could be <gasps> someone that does yes. Farina you know, the way you no, do. No, oh no, not like that. Not like not a not a guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So could you build you. like your perfect guy like from characters? Like you ever seen uh, our friends at IFTV? They like build the perfect soccer player like Messi's IQ, Ronaldo's right leg, Messi's left leg, uh, this guy's speed. C- can you build that for a guy like like out uh, of out of um. Celebrities that you like, like. Tony Soprano's, uh, you know, hustler, like something like that. Tony like, Soprano's morals. Yeah, or, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would do I Tony. I, if we're, I would do Tony Soprano. You but minus thinking. the womanizing, you know. The, the you'll be able to handle with gumas. No, like no, no, no. That's why I need an Amish guy because they don't do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tony Soprano, Tony Soprano's character. Yes. Or or status. Oh, you know who I like? Uh, uh, Pauly from Goodfellas. Okay. Pauly's what? Personality? No, just Pauly. Just him the way he is. Just just him, like a big guy like that. Yeah, with the panza deal and everything. Yeah, I, I like. Oh, so me and my friends we always talk about. It. I like a guy with a panza. So I, Pauly. Pauly like from uh, Paul Servino's character. Yeah, Pauly Walnuts. No, no, oh, from Goodfellas. From Pauly, Goodfellas. Yeah, Pauly, yeah, yeah. the That's boss. What, yeah, okay, okay. I like I'm a good. boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a boss that's a big guy. Hmm. Pauly. I like Luca Brasi. I like him a little dumb. A little dumb. Oh, little Sounds dumb. like she's explaining me, low key. <laughs> <laughs> a little dumb. 
You know, not not boss, but because I don't. like to talk, so I need somebody a little quiet too, who's just listening to yeah. what I say. You don't want him to match your energy. He just like compliment. oh, I oh my god! I, one time I had a guy match my energy. We ended up almost ended up in a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, like he was like super talkative. You're saying? Yeah, he was super talkative. But I see now. I don't like a guy. I like a guy who's a little, a little big. Like you know, I don't want anybody who's too pretty. Gotcha. I but why? Why is that? Is that because? You feel like they'll be annoying or something? Yeah. But like, you need someone that's submissive, you're saying? No, I need somebody who's, like, very manly. Okay. And I feel like when a guy is too pretty, he's not manly. Mm. Gotcha. So, like, your guy can't be a content creator. You need a guy oh, that's, like, good in trees. Oh, I can you, you need a guy with a pension. You need a guy with a pension. I need a construction worker, but yeah. construction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's just on the payroll. Oh, I need, so I need con- <laughs> you, you need somebody that does not uh, a, waste management. Yeah, waste management kind of guy. You know, that's that's what I not. <laughs> that's, that's actually great. Funny. But guys that do that aren't like quiet though. I feel are they? Maybe, maybe. maybe. I don't know. I can't say if yeah. I met anybody like that. From your Instagram stories, I feel like. All these guys with crushes on you, like send flowers to the deli, and oh my God, you, you must yes. get like flowers once every two weeks. Yes, I do. I get fl- and so Uncle Vinny, he loves it. He thinks it's so funny. He'll be like, "Principessa, flowers for you." I'm like, "Oh, thank you," like, you know. But it's so funny. I'm like, I like getting flowers. Like, what girl wouldn't want to go into work and there's flowers waiting for her? So, do you think it would be safe to say that if someone wants to ask you out, the first thing you should do is send flowers? Hundred percent. That's what it is today, right? Yes. That's kind of crazy, but yeah, it makes sense. What do you mean it's kind of crazy? Have you ever had like somebody email you for a date, like besides the oh business? Oh my god, yes. Oh, so all I'm, right. So what's the best way to ask you out? Like if someone wants to do it, like someone watching this wants to ask you out. <laughs> the way like we just talked about business booking, would the, it be the flood send flowers with an Instagram handle, yeah. or send flowers with a you know, like a I resume? See, that's the thing. I don't know if I would meet somebody on Instagram. Like I want to meet somebody like organically. Yeah, but it's kind of hard because all the stuff you do, a lot of people, how many people bump into you and say, I love your videos? Every day. Exactly. So you just want no, to be someone that doesn't know who I you would, are. No, I would want somebody who's a little bit of a fan. A little bit of a fan. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy, you know, that they're reciting my videos. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Chill out, that nice scared me. Do you guys watch Seinfeld? Yeah. Can we talk about Seinfeld? I, I watched a couple episodes. Yeah. There was an episode. Do you know Seinfeld really well? Not, not like... What about you back there? You know Seinfeld? What about you back there? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. There was an episode of Seinfeld where Elaine was going out with this guy, Joe Davola, and she like stumbled into his apartment one day because she had to go see him. And on the wall were all pictures of her. But she didn't oh. know <laughs> that he was crazy like that. And he like comes, he's like, Elaine. And she's like, like, ner- like I don't want a guy like that. Yeah, like, I don't weird. want a shrine yeah, yeah. of me on his wall. But a little bit of a fan. I think, I think we're getting we're getting there. We're like we're we're slowly figuring it out. <laughs> I, I'm talking to a guy right now. He's gonna watch this. He's gonna be like, "What the fuck are you talking yeah, yeah, about?" Yeah. Is he is he everything you just explained? Kind of, yeah. Okay, so that's a good uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he'll be hyped yeah. then. Yeah. So, but he's gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, you're still talking to him by the time <laughs> by the time this comes out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, remember, I remember, um, because I do watch all your stories. You put up a thing like on my first date, and you use the meme from White Chicks. Oh, and okay. he's like, I'll oh, order that a was salad. The guy, oh, that was the guy I'm talking to. Yeah, exactly. That's what I figured. Yeah. Unless you were talking to two, because <laughs> this I, was the other day. I got 10 boyfriends. Yeah? Oh, blah, 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 blah. No, sh- no, I don't. That's what my nunna said. <laughs> Do you know my nunna said that she to me? She supports it? So my nunna the other day, this was just last week. I'm taking her food shopping. She's like, Liana, when are you going to get a boyfriend? She said in Italian. I said, no, no, a boyfriend. I got 15 boyfriends. <laughs> She's like, all right, so pick your favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice bella nonna. It's a nice one. Ma quando ti sposi? That's what she always says. Before she dies, she wants to see me married. I'm <laughs> like, oh, no, all right. All right Do you on. think there's like a perfect age for that? To get married? Yeah. I, I see, you know, I never wanted to get married young. You never wanted to? No. So I feel like... 20- I feel like a lot of... Women do like, especially in our culture, Italian women off the boat, like they all want to get married. See, that's the thing because people always ask me, Oh, why are you not married? I could be married if I really wanted to be married, I could be married, but I never wanted to get married until I was like 28. Then I feel like that's two years away, yeah, right? So you gotta start now, 
I know. That's why we're over here yeah. telling you what I like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. That <laughs> we got to just send this clip to the guy you're talking to. Like, this is what it's expected. Well, the other 14 are going to be like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but how do you know they're not all like similar? Yeah. yeah they could yeah. all be big guys. That's just that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> they could be 15 of the same builds. That's like, why. <laughs> it makes sense why uh, she hangs out in the deli because this is where you're going to find this kind of guy. Like, right. Where am I gonna, I don't want to find a guy in the gym. If I like a big guy, I want to know a guy can eat and can feed me. So that's why I'm in the deli. So like when I'm in the deli and I see guys checking out, but I get all old men. Like I don't get like. You ask them if they have a son or something, like a nice son? No, but the, sometimes they offer their sons to me. And I'll. They offer their sons. That sounds like, crazy. That sounds like some <laughs> Roman, like old Roman days. Sometimes, like I'll give you my son. But it's so funny because sometimes <laughs> they do come in with their sons and like you could tell like the son is like so like embarrassed that like yeah. the parent is doing this or like the grandmother is doing this. And I'm just like, I like I'm awkward too. Like what, what are we going to do? Like. I would love like like an Italian bachelorette. I would go on it. We've been talking about a show. I thought you wanted now. Amish. Oh. <laughs> What's going on over here? Yeah, but what I'm gonna bring it, it sounds up. like you want to go to the Poconos and Airbnb no, for three days. No, Lancaster, Lancaster. Uh, you could get an Airbnb there. I go there all the time. I've never been there's there. There's a there's a buffet over there. We're going back to the Amish now. There's a really good buffet <laughs> over there. I'm going to be there soon, so... Clearly, Lancaster's paying her, though. <laughs> she could shout out where she likes her rainbow I cookies. I told you, Lancaster, I would do anything for free in Lancaster. Really? So we got you a couple of things for free. You know, me and Sabina said, you know, the Italian princess is here. We got we got a couple of things for you. Yeah. Aw, you guys are the best. Oh, see, so if I show my nana what this says, she's going to be like, what kind of people do you associate <laughs> yeah, with? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vafangu. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, it's I nice, hit the mic. It's a nice. These are cute. Those are gym shorts. Thank like, you, thank you. Uh, a thank little, you. little thought, you know? Oh, yeah, gym shorts. Yeah. I'm going to wear booty shorts to the <laughs> yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll really have the marriage proposals. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good trick. These are cute. Those will get the oh, muscle like guys, those. too. Oh, my God. I'm going to wear this to the deli when it gets to summer. What What's in the perfect sandwich? Because... When you post these sandwiches, it pretty much is the same sandwich every time. I eat people say you eat different stuff, but you eat the same thing all the time. No, people say that I eat the same stuff. I say it's different, but it's pretty much the same. So when I get my sandwiches, Uncle Vinny, he's like a typical like old school like like Italian, but I think other other um, uh, nationalities do this too. Like if you tell an older person that you like something, they'll keep giving it to you because yes. they think that that's what you like. Yes. So I told him I like a nice prosciutto sandwich. So that's all he gives me is prosciutto. But mm. and I'm not gonna say, oh no, I don't want this today. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah just give it, just give it. <laughs> but <laughs> but I eat so much prosciutto. So he makes you the same one all the time, or he switches it up with prosciutto on. Sometimes he'll switch it up. He'll put a little more tortilla on it. He'll put a little uh, instead of roasted peppers, sun dried tomatoes, a little provolone instead of mozzarella. Mm -hmm. People are gonna talk shit about the way I say mozzarella right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. You didn't say it bad. It was pretty good. Right. You know where I can get a fresh quality pizza with the freshest ingredients? I'm talking like homemade dough, Pecorino Romano grated in-house. Of course. Where? Cuz. Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza and Wings. That cold fire is at the heart of who they are. Oh, they're that spot that's located all in the Northeast and they have a bunch in Florida, right? Yep. Man, I love when you have a good recommendation for once. Stop by Anthony's on March 14th and get a 12-inch pizza for $314. Dine-in only. Go get your pizza. Crispy, crunchy, savory, and sweet. Order what you want on Uber Eats. Listen, guys, from now to the end of the year, December 31st, on the Uber Eats app, you go to Anthony and Panini shop, and you get a nice $25 off. When you use the code Panini. You gotta use the code Panini. Terms apply. See app for details. We're very excited to announce a long-term partnership with the Soto Gastronomia out from Australia. These guys got a really, really interesting restaurant. The Soto has a very interesting story. So they're first generation Italian Australians. They're basically us in Australia. The Soto was created in their parents' and grandparents' honor so that they can pay their legacy forward. 100% of their proceeds goes to people in need, charities, and the arts. The Soto will be supporting us this year, so you know the content's going to be even better. Bro, and who knows? Maybe at some point we're going to have to take a trip down on that. I was always curious how the Italian Australians made food. It's time we find out. Do you I ever get people that say you're not Italian? Eh, because I show my nun that a lot. So, you know, I I don't really even read my comments. You don't? So, like, as soon That's as... safe. I, yeah, as soon as I post a video, because I'm not on my phone all day, every day. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a life. So, as soon as I post a video, like, the first, like, 
comments that come flooding in, I'll respond to. But then I let it go let into it the run. abyss. Right, right, right. You know, I appreciate to all the, the abyss. I, right, the comment she's, abyss. She's got four more videos to post. I, <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess what? <laughs> that's the thing too. Like people, the, the, you know, like I post like four or five videos a day. I can't be going through all these comments. Yeah. I'm only one person. So I let it go into the abyss. I appreciate every comment. Like, that's why sometimes I'll post on my story, like, thank you so much for all the likes and comments. Like, yeah. that's my way of saying thank you yeah, to everybody. Yeah, to everybody. Because I can't go through yeah, everyone. Yeah, but actually, the re actually, uh, it's funny you say it. In the beginning, I feel like you used to comment back to everybody. I used to comment back to everybody. Now you don't. Now I don't. So what I used to do was I had, like, the comment filters on. Uh-huh. So, like, I would have to, like, approve each comment. So it would be easier to comment oh back God, to everybody, goodness. but it was a lot of That's work. Nuts. And then once my account started uh, like gaining traction, mm -hmm. I can't do that right. anymore. Like it's, it's annoying. Cause then I would have to post a video and sit there and, and, and go through it. And I'm like, I can't do this. I just post it and go Wait, on. So explain the blow up though, because like Sabino said, that was crazy. Because whatever it happened really time, fast. I whenever there's somebody really Italian, fast. cause she was consistent for, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. like three years, maybe two years. No. Two years. Two years. I started two but years ago. But you always posted five videos a day as yeah. long as I've known you. So I started two years ago next month in March. But I always was very consistent with videos. I would always just post like five a day, five a day. But um, Instagram, like I was saying, Instagram I never really posted on. Within the past like two months, my Instagram blew up. Over the summer, I hit like 10,000. I was like, yeah, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Now I'm at like 180. Yeah. But I feel like you got 100 and... I got a hundred in two weeks, probably. How did that happen? Just every video blew up. There was two weeks. It was probably like November to December that mm -hmm. every video I was posting was blowing up. Was there one in particular that started this? Mm, or oh, just a bunch, one after um, another. I think it was one that blew me up on TikTok recently too. It was like a tortellini video that I had did with my nana, where I was eating tortellini okay. soup. And people were saying, oh, I never heard of tortellini soup. That's not a thing. Did you ever eat tortellini yeah, soup? Of course. Have you ever? I, 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 what, what else would you eat tortellini? I mean, right. tortellini's like that. We're not having Alfredo. Well, right. That, that, Alfredo. That's like but, if you go to Villa Russo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think that's why that was blowing up. Because people are like, I'm Italian. And I've never eaten tortellini soup. Well, my nana just made it. So go tell her <laughs> who's Italian. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's but like, a big thing. So I think that was the first one. And then every video after that was just blowing up. It's it crazy. was cool. I was love. I was, oh, good for you. I was you, riding with your, it. Your energy is contagious, and it's Thank even you. better in person. I appreciate it. But you know what? It's kind of messed up, and it kind of gets on my nerves. It's like people, so like business owners, like they'll say to people that I know, "Oh, is she really like nice in person? Is she really like that in person?" And they're like, "Yeah." Like, and then they'll call me, and I'll go over there, and they'll be like, "Oh, you're really nice." Like, no, it's not an act. <laughs> you know, like I, that's what kind of like I don't I think like that's that. That's what people are used to, though. A lot of people on social media do have a different. Persona, I know. You know that's what I have to like come to terms with that it's not like personal against me right, that they're right, like right. thinking that I'm right. like like a like a I don't want to curse but a, yeah, like a yeah. like a putana, they're, they're, they're you know? generalizing you they're know? generalizing me and then they're like oh you're so humble you're so nice because yeah you know what I'm saying but Oh, so this is your first podcast, this right? This is my first podcast. What do you think so far? You like it? I'm vibing. I, I didn't even like, I didn't like, even know we were recording. <laughs> I thought we were just We were just still out. talking? We didn't yeah. hit play. No, we didn't hit play yet. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, we're ready right. to go, Pip. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a natural though. Like I, I Thank like you. like I was saying, you're, you're a natural caquero. Yeah, yeah, natural caquero. I used to I get said in, that so I, bad on your room. Let me tell you something. I used to get in trouble in elementary school for talking all the time. The teachers were calling home. Oh, she's talking. She's talking. And my mom, oh, you know, you're so, yeah. but my mom will get mad at the teachers because my mom's like one of those moms, like, don't talk about my kid. Like, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So then I became so shy in like middle school and high school because I used to get in trouble for talking a lot that I'm like, oh my God, let me not talk at all. And then for like the longest time, I was so, so shy. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Like, and now I'm just a kick. I don't know. Did you go to college or no? I went to St. John's University. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. In New Queens. Yes, yes, yes. I did my, my bachelor's over there. Nice, good for you. Yes, thank you. A lot of Long Islanders go there. It's a good yeah. school. Right in the yeah. middle, you know. I love cousin. St. John's. It's a nice school. Catholic school. Nice Where, Catholic did you go to institution. high school? I, out by me in Long Island. Okay. Public school. Were you were you one of those kids that would bring the craziest lunches? Oh, my, my mom is going to watch this and she's going to die <laughs> laughing. I used to be so embarrassed in school because my lunch boxes were always leaking yeah. uh, some kind of substance. 
But like, you know, Tortellini, and like, Tortellini like, Brodo. Yeah, right. Tortellini and Brodo, my mom would pack for me for lunch. And I remember, I'll never forget. Oh, I got another story for you after this. I'll save never it, save it. I got, right. After I tell this one. Um, I'll never forget. We were like in school and one of the lunch boxes were leaking. And I was young. I was probably in elementary school. That smell. And the teacher picks it up and is like, whose lunch box is leaking? It didn't smell, but it was just leaking all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so embarrassed. I didn't raise my hand. Because what am I going to raise my hand now that my lunchbox was leaking? So this is another one. I'll never forget this. My mom is really going to laugh. I was in first grade. I'm traumatized to this day. We're in school. Like the teacher's reading us a book. Like we're all on the carpet. It's story time. One of the, the aides from the office comes in and is like, oh, I have a message for Liana. Now I'm, I'm six years old. I'm nervous. I'm like, okay. Oh, your mom called. She wants to tell you that there's salami sandwiches on the menu today. And I was like, okay. Like, I was so embarrassed. That had to be announced. Like, that's what my mom... Wait, had. that was on a loudspeaker? No. Oh. Like, the aide, the aide came into the classroom. Yeah, but, like, classic. my mom really had to call the school to tell him that because my mom... And then... <laughs> Years later, I still bring it up. I'm like, this is, it was so embarrassing. She's like, yeah, but I know you liked salami. Well, I'm you, like, you couldn't have just opened your lunchbox and saw salami? Like, what? she had to let the school know. <laughs> it's a special thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's like back in the day, my mom would give a note once in a while, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. But that's crazy. Like, the that's heads fun. up. Audio. Honestly, though, I wouldn't want it any other way. Like, growing up Italian, that, yes. that is how you know you grew up Italian. Yes. Really. Mm-hmm. The lunches were just different. They were different. I, like, I always used to bring chicken cutlets for lunch. And they were cold, but cold chicken oh, cutlets so were the best. best yeah. But always, I always... But then, like, you know, when you're in school, like, you start to get embarrassed because all the other kids are buying lunch, so then I want to buy lunch. Yeah. And now I think back at it, and I'm like, I had the best lunches, and I want to buy lunch. In, like high, school, in high school, though, it's true, though. I did... Yeah, you're not, bring bringing, lunch. you're not bringing lunch in high that school. Because cool, no. then no. you smell like that the whole day. Like, yeah, the ham was... sandwich in a brown paper bag. like In your book bag or in your locker, bro. The yeah. whole hallway was smelling yeah. like it. <laughs> you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> That's when I really like stopped bringing it. Well, also because that was the thing, is that they would make stuff you could buy. Yeah, the high school lunch wasn't... We went to Catholic school, so it wasn't too bad. Mine wasn't too bad either. But if I had to choose now, I'd want a nice friggin' salami sandwich for lunch. When you have kids, you doing the same thing? 100% no. And I'll embarrass him the same and way my mom for embarrassed her, uh, construction husband, you know? Construction. Are you sending him to work with a- Well, hopefully he's around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so wait, if you were da- if you were hopefully dating I somebody, have, what? If you were dating somebody and he went to jail cuz one of these how you doings, it's possible. No, I would hold him down. What am I going to do? Be an animal? You're going to hold him. <laughs> <I> would- <laughs> So, how long would you wait, the max, if you had to wait? Oh, if I had if to you wait. Had, if you had no kids. Oh, if I had no kids. But you had a ring. Okay, you're Was 26. he a good earner? He's a great earner. But now, you know, he's got to do 20 years. You're 26. Oh, 20 years. I'm going to be an old lady by the time he gets out. He probably wouldn't even want All me to right, get so what's the max? give you a rock for a ring. I'm Sick. talking like six figures ring. Now I'm thinking. Now you got me thinking over here. Because you know he's going to go and big or go home. And he's 20 years? All right. Let's say, all right, you're 20 26. Let's say he's doing 10 years. 36. Oh, that's a lot too. <laughs> you want, he's you not getting two is, years. That's all, right, he's do, all right. He's doing two weekends. <laughs> oh, forget about it. Yeah. I'll do three no, weekends. What's the, what's the most she'll go, you think? This is a crazy conversation. Two years, two years. Two years? Two years, years? But two this years is, is nothing. But this is why I need an Amish He's guy. I'm not going to worry about He's, this with an Amish but guy. But you just said you want a good earner. <laughs> this I Amish guy is going to clip but you see why, you see, But you see why I'm not married? Because I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Fair enough. Makes sense. Fair enough. Makes sense. The FBI is going to be watching this, taking yeah. notes. I know. They're like, whoever she dates, just, <laughs> yeah. just watch them. <laughs> right? We, watch uh, them under a microscope. All right. So, you love prosciutto. You told Vincenzo you love prosciutto. He feeds you prosciutto. Do you have a top that de- like deli meats list? Like I love mortadella. So give us your top top five deli meats. Top five? I don't even know five. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Wait, oh no, I do have five prosciutto. But this is not in order. All right, top five in I, order. In order. In order. In order. In order. In order. In order. Yeah, yeah. So is number one. Mm-hmm. Two is mortadella. Three, Genoa salami. You didn't put prosciutto. Four is prosciutto. I'm not a big prosciutto girl. Or that love. Well, you told crazy. me, Genzo, you love it. I know back when I did love it. But now I'm like 100 prosciutto sandwiches in. I don't love it no more. <laughs> so four is prosciutto. And f- I hate I hate capicola, gabagool. I hate it. I hate it. It won't even make my list. I hate it so much. Wow. You, so you got to put something, five? man. You got to put something. Is pepperoni a real Italian deli meat? I like pepperoni. 
Prosciutto cotto? You, you oh, know? prosciutto cotto, I like. I'll put prosciutto cotto before prosciutto. But what's the difference between that and ham, though? It's like that's what, there's a little so fat around that. That's what happened. Like, when I'm at the deli and, like, people come in looking for ham, we don't have ham, but I might just do prosciutto cotto. Yeah. Yeah, same, same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, When you step in these spots, right, like, when you go shopping, do you shop, like, what you really like, or you have, like, a list, like, this is what I need? Basically, what I want to know is, like, when you, when you go shopping, what's your must-buys? Like, what do you need to have in your refrigerator at oh, all times? Oh, must, must? Yeah. From, like, shopping, like, an Italian in an store? Italian style, yeah. A little sugo di frutta. Like, those little things. Legendary. I need those. What brand is the best for that? Is it Yo- Goya yoga, still? Yoga, yoga. Yoga, yoga. that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yoga. yoga. Yeah. I think that's the only one. I never yeah, saw yeah, them yeah. from any other brand. So, sugo di frutta, I need. I need, like, a dried soppressata, like a slicing Sliced one. Sliced up. I need olives. Any kind of. I like black olives. Mm-hmm. Like, the... The, the dried o- ones? The dried one, like the oil cured olives I like. I like um and then like like a nice like like uh what the hell is that brand with the bee that has those nice tiramisu cakes? They have like the what the, oh balcony. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a nice balcony, like something yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. No bread? Oh bread, yeah. That's, I like, I like, you don't even gotta mention that. Yeah, you don't have to mention I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was implied. Do you are you there's like a big culture shift where I feel when we were younger. Like, we used to sell, like, 50 loaves of bread a day, right? Like, or 100, I should say. Of just people come in, like, before they stopped home, they'll buy a loaf of bread. Yeah. Now it's, like, 20, like that, you know? My, you you my, still buy bread every day? I still buy bread every day. And my store that I'm at is crazy on bread. And I say it in all my videos, like, if you want bread, you got to come now for the bread. Sometimes, like, it when sells you post out. it, you like, only three left. I'm, I'm like, I'm about to drive in. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it's good bread. But yeah, so where we are, like, because it's all, like, old Italians that have that old school mentality that you need to buy fresh bread every day. So we sell out of bread every day. I like that, though. I like Me, too. That. It's nice. What kind of bread? Is it semolina, like Italian bread? We have or? all different, like, Italian... Yeah, prosciutto like a bread, too. Right? Prosciutto oh, bread, so olive good. bread. Now I'm doing one of my videos. We got prosciutto bread, <laughs> olive bread, brick oven ciabatta bread, Italian bread, we have baguettes, semolina. Like French baguettes? We have little baguettes. You know what's crazy? Little. This might be a hot take. I think the best bread for an Italian sandwich is the French baguette, like the skinny bread. Bro, you, I, can't, you can't hold anything in there. Yeah, but it's just it's just nice and crispy on the outside. So, That's so, crazy. But it's funny he says that because we have the little baguettes, but I made a sign and I called them Italian hero breads. So oh, I, okay. I took out the French entirely. I'm like, no, this is Italian. Is that the number one seller? Probably. The little bread. Napoli it's Bakery used then. to make the long ones with the flour on it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they taste delicious, but you can't. Put a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, you don't oh, need, you don't need know, overload, I'm, though. I'm messing up bread. You're right. Those little, those skinny, yeah, skinny, skinny ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are good for butter. <laughs> yeah, toast them <laughs> over butter. butter. Yeah, two slices of prosciutto, two slices no, of mozzarella. Oh, we had a French bread. Yeah, it's good enough for I me. I never huh? had that. It's too skinny. I need, but I need what's like substance. A, yeah, but you could have like a loaded sandwich like that every time. Yeah. yeah. And my go-to, yeah. Bre- my go-to, <laughs> I love semolina bread. I love semolina. Yeah, That's my favorite bread. What are your top ranking Italian cheeses in order? My eyelash killed my God. Um, top yeah, ranking. You're not doing that in Amish land either, eyelashes, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, but they don't care about that stuff. They don't care about eyelashes in Amish land. They just care if you got your bonnet on. So, <laughs> I don't even know what a bonnet is. There's like, no Easter bonnet. Things, That's all I They know. don't wear those? I thought they wear the bonnets yeah, yeah. in Lancaster. I'm pretty I sure they I don't were. think it's all I that been... pretty. Like, you're thinking it. It's one way, but I think it's... I think she just wants fresh milk deliveries. I that was like the big <laughs> thing. Is you wait, uh, you go downstairs, the milk's already turned. Like, I, Lancaster is probably a very oppressive culture. They probably like, the women are probably extremely oppressed. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so... I would say so. <laughs> I'm probably better off over here. Anyways, top cheeses. Definitely... <laughs> no. That's a crazy transition. <laughs> Number one, I love cavallo. Oh, Ooh, no. I like no, that. no, no. Number one, primo sale. With the okay. peppercorns. Primo yeah, salad yeah, with yeah. the peppercorns. Fire. Number two, cacio cavale. Cavallo. Oh, God, don't kill me. They're going to come after me now. You can say it, you can say it again. So, cacio so. cavallo. And then number three, obviously, a nice, a nice parmigiano. Chunk of parmigiano. That's like... Fresh like, mozzarella, number four. I eat so much mozzarella, I'm sick of it. Oh my I God. can't eat <laughs> mozzarella. I'm like so sick of it. What about provolone? Ah, uh, provolone too. I eat so much provolone. I can't eat provolone. Oh, what? You just had that in your bed? We're still recording. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta, what do you? What is it? You show up more than thirty minutes. You're ready to eat. Yeah, and I got to do a video. People content, are waiting. Bro, content. They're waiting for me. No, are you serious right now? Yeah, right, I only did two so far are we today. Pause. 
I guess. I guess. Go no, ahead. No, we could talk. I could. I can multitask. Do you have a a, a stand? Or you just always prompt it up on something. I prompt it up on something. I went to uh, Anthony and Sons. Do you ever go there? Yeah, yeah I heard of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice spot. I made. I always see you eating like the same thing, so I like put a little spin oh, on it. Look at this, guys. So I'm what over do we got there? I'm over here. Am I doing this or this? Oh, so sorry. I'm sorry. Let, let her do her no, content. Don't my video now. It? Let her do her content. Guys, over I'm over here. Growing up Italian, I got a nice little sandwich from Anthony and Sons. Sun-dried peppers, arugula, mozzarella, sobrasata. Look at this bread. Incredible. And then you know I need my little estate. We've been filming for like, I don't know, an hour now. I'm starving. I can't be talking and not eating. I got to eat. Napkin? Yeah, I need my oh, penis. Yeah, we, we were not prepared. We were not prepared for this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll fix this quick after. Yeah. Oh shit, I, I'm done. Alright, no, I don't need I don't need Oh man. Yeah, you record on TikTok too? Wow. I recorded on TikTok. This is good as hell. Oh my manja, God. Manja. That's pretty much what lunch at school was. <laughs> the greasy bag. All right. <laughs> Exactly. Have you ever had the shops before or no? The, the, shop? the mini shop? I don't think I ever have. And Sabina's going to be like, she, wow. she, she came a couple times uh, for Emily's because of Anthony. No, I only went yeah, one time yeah. for Emily's, but I didn't get anything over there. Oh, you didn't eat anything? They're expecting you over there after this, by the way. They're, That's they're my like, boy, Anthony. It's like Italian princess is coming. That's so funny that everybody refers to you as Italian princess. Though. I know. Do you like I her? It. I yeah. love it. When people I, come I up eat to it you, up. you love it or you hate it? Um, no, I love it. I love when people come up to me, and I say it all the time to people. Like, I, I, it's nice. I like to to engage because people will say to me like, "Oh, I'll get like a DM. Oh, I saw you over here today, but I was too shy to say hi." I'm like, "Just say hi. Like, mm -hmm. I'll talk to anybody, as you can see. Like, yeah. I don't care. Like, we'll talk about anything. Like, we yeah. we'll be best friends, mm -hmm. you know." But um, uh, but I like when people come up to me, and my nun now likes when people come up to us now. Especially, so, I, I can imagine it's time supermarkets. You're like. Oh, forget about that. You're like yeah. Bruce Springsteen over there. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but no, you know what's so funny? At the Italian supermarket, so where I'm at, my little deli, um, all the older people, they don't really know TikTok or anything that well. So, like, they'll come in. The next time they come in, oh, my granddaughter loves you. She said, like, she watches you. I'm like, yeah. So usually the older generation, it's their younger, they're right. like grandkids yeah, yeah, yeah. that are the ones that say it. But my nonna likes it. So when we first started, like I was saying earlier, she didn't like to um, to do any videos. But now, like, when we're out and people are coming up, oh, I love you. Like, I love you and your nonna. Like, she likes it now. So now she likes doing How it. How strong is the Italian princess when she posts something for one of these shops? How many people are going to come? Oh, like, forget find about you? it. I tell I tell people all the time. Like, if I come over there and I do a video, like, I'm, and I'm not tooting my own horn. Like, you could talk to any other business that I went to. You're guaranteed people to come in off of the, off of the videos. Because, like, the places that I do, it's authentic. Like, I'm not just picking any place to go to. You're pretty much the same places a lot. Yeah, because like, if I like a place, yeah. I'm over there all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, they're going to be sick of me, like, if I like a place. Yeah. But I don't post, like, I'm not one of those people that post a place just because they told me to come in. Like, if the food is disgusting, I'm not posting. Yeah. You know? So you won't post negative stuff. I don't post negative stuff unless, so I'm, I'm like a career criminal for this, but not often. If a place really makes me mad... I'll post it on my story for like an hour or two, just so like yeah. they see it. It's like a little threat. You just know? Like, right, but not enough that it's detrimental. Yeah. But like they'll see it and then they'll be like, "Oh, can you please take this down? I'm so sorry." But but then it's like you're only saying sorry because posted I posted it. it. Yeah. Like you weren't sorry when I went in there and like the food was raw or you know what I'm saying, like yeah. something like that. But if a place is bad, I won't post it. Like I'll just I'll go. And I'll be like, you know, like, I won't, I won't take any money for it. Like, it, it was bad. I'm not gonna post it just because you're paying me. Right. Because then that's my name on the line. Because then people are gonna be like, your, oh, your reputation. Yeah. People are gonna be like, I went over here because the Italian princess said it's good and it's no, garbage. It's not good. Then yeah. it makes me look bad. Like, no, every place that I go to is good. What do you think people that follow you want to know most about you? Uh, like, what's the number one comment? My personal life, my yeah. dating life. Okay, so oh, we figured we that definitely out. covered that. My number one <laughs> comment is my dating life. So there you go, my dating life. Anything, Anything else? else? Yeah. Like what? What do you like to do besides eat and work out and hang out with Nonna? Take naps. Nice. You I take mean, a nap like every day. Every day. 
see what I eat. I need a nap. What time do you usually nap? Like around this around time? this time. So I so you do the siesta. What they call it? Yes, I live an Italian way of life that yeah. I close up shop one o'clock, three o'clock. <laughs> so that's what I say to people. I say if you call me at one o'clock, I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna curse you out because I'm sleeping. So don't wake me up. So call me after three. <laughs> All business inquiries also right. after three. <laughs> right, right. No after one p.m. <laughs> right. Do not wake me up when I'm sleeping. And I go to my nunna's house for naps. And you go to. You go to dinner out a lot because that's your business. Yes. But I see you out to eat like three, four nights a week. Yes. So that's like really is I the Italian. It. I feel like a lot it's of great. times do that. I, I love going out to eat. But you go out early or late? Oh, I go out early. I, I have like a 5 p.m. dinner. Really? <laughs> yeah. Are they all Italian spots? Mostly, yeah. yeah. That's you don't, you don't ever get tired of Italian food? That's what people ask me, but I don't. Because I do different things. Like I won't eat baked clams all the time. And I won't eat fried calamari all the time. Like, I switch it up. When you do these, like, dinners, let's say with your mom, your nonna, your friends, do you order for everybody? I, I feel yes. like you're, like, an order for the table. I am. A guy. I am. But uh, for any men out there, I like if I'm on a date that the guy orders for me. But he should ask what you want first, right? So usually it'd be like, you know, is there anything you don't like? And I, and I say, I like everything. So don't worry about me. But I like when a man, like, all right, we'll have, like, five appetizers, Three entrees, a pasta. It's not a waste four of money. Desserts. It's a lot of waste of money, though. Like, you gotta order all waste these things. No to of, no to go bags going home. I'll take a to go, to go bag. I'll eat it the next day. But um, usually there's no to go bag. But so, but when I'm out with my mom and my nana, like I'll pretty much like, oh, I will do this, this, this. They'll say what they want, but yeah. we all eat the same thing. So, what, so what if the guy's like, all right, uh, I get what you want, sweetie. Don't worry, and then he gives you tripe. Uh, now we got a problem. Uh, it's not, uh, nobody's but, doing that. But, then, <laughs> but you know what? Then I'd be intrigued. Because yeah. the guy ordering tripe means he's like an old school, like he knows like Italian uh. dishes. So now I'm like, oh, shoot. I won't eat it, but he, you, he just, a special? You, just, you just gain points for ordering tripe. Okay. Well, all right. So what, I, I cut you off of there. I should let you rock. What What does a man need to order for you? Like on a, on a date, you said you like the five appetizers. What are the go-to ones? Baked clams. Fried calamari, maybe a little mozzarella for the table. But then it just depends. What else are some appetizers? I don't know. It just depends. A little pizza, on what a little pizza. Oh, definitely. I need a little pizza at the <laughs> arancini? On menu. Arancini, whatever is on the menu. And I like when a man serves me. Like, you know, yeah. like a real old school guy, he'll take that big clams, he'll put it in your plate, and I'm sitting there. <laughs> and like, but the key is, you gotta put the juice on top oh, of big clam. Yes, yes, <laughs> you gotta give you a little. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> when he puts a little juice on the big clams, the I'm in love. The marinara sauce on the calamari. Oh, yeah, right. Squeezes the lemon for you. And I'm sitting there waiting for my food while he's putting it. That's what I like. I like an old school guy like that. And then the next round is pasta. One each or one to share? No, one each. One each. But we'll share. You but know, you, we'll so share. two different ones. Two different ones. What yeah. should it go to usually for that? Are you a penne <sighs> vodka girl? I'm like a cacio e pepe girl. Because I never ate cacio e pepe growing up. Mm -hmm. Like, my nana never made cacio yeah, pepe. Same. My yeah. mom never made it. So to me, that's a new dish. Yeah. So I love eating it because I mm -hmm. never had it before. So probably like a cacio e pepe. Mm -hmm. What else? I like pesto. Any, mm -hmm. I like truffle, anything with truffle. So something like that. Okay. Not really a red sauce, unless it's like the place is known for red sauce, that you need red sauce. Because you eat at home all the time. Because you eat at home. I'm right, not going right, to go out right. to eat and get something that I, I agree, can eat I at home. I agree with that. All right, and main course, what do we what do we get? Um, chicken yeah. franchises. So chicken. I love chicken parm. Chicken parm, me too. I, I like chicken. Who doesn't like chicken parm? It's though? sacrilegious, but I love a good chicken parm. I'm not gonna lie, I love a good chicken parm. A nice veal, like veal version of that. Yeah, if I I'm, if I'm little out little. with a guy and I want to show, I want to make it seem like I'm like, Steak? you know, no, like I'm like 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 a proper. I don't know, maybe Ish. maybe bougie. I'll get a bronzino. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the bronzino wrong. needs to be filleted. One time it wasn't filleted. I was choking on the bones. That's fine. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like sitting like this because I didn't want Delicious. anybody to see me choking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and perfect dessert. How many desserts are you getting? Like two. I need a couple. Of I need you know when the restaurant brings out the platter of desserts. I need a guy to be like, oh, bring out the dessert platter. That's what I need. Assorted uh, desserts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in a Does it remind you of like the memes you see when you take a girl out to eat in Miami? So give her to spend like, $500, guys. It's pretty much what's No, going 600. Like. That's 600. Hey, it's going to be a big dinner bill, but you see how I am? You're going to have a fun conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have fun. But it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you, but we're going to have a good time. So, yeah. Do you know how to cook? Yes. Oh. Wait, no, no. I, I gotta, I'm over here trying to find a husband. You asked me for not to cook. <laughs> yes. oh, this is what we got to know. Cook. 
Because I see Nona, with Nona all the time. I could cook. I could cook. But you know, I got my Nona's always cooking. My mom is always cooking. So, like, if I'm in the kitchen and they're trying to cook, what am I going to make a different dish? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I can't, my mom, the other day, this is a short story, I put, like, a, a paper plate in the oven, oh like, to God. heat up bread. Oh, my God. I started smelling smoke. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Would you get the paper towel and go like this? Like <laughs> right, right. Not you maybe get the, the that's, what that's what I need. I need a fireman. <laughs> a fireman like this, though. Yeah, a fireman like this. I don't know if they, I don't know if those they exist. make those. They make those. That'd be a, a very good build if they did. <laughs> Honestly, the cooking thing was one I I thought because you were, you were doing um the videos. Oh, so when I'm a domesticated woman and I do have a boyfriend or I do have a man. I'll cook for him. Like, I'll make a nice Sunday sauce, brajol, meatballs, sausages. I do the whole shebang. Yeah. Roasted peppers. Wow, your Italian-American accent really shined there. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, then I'll really, I'll be putting elbow grease into it. Then yeah, I'll be yeah, cooking. Yeah. But, I mean. Until then, you know? Until then. Can you expect, then. like, you mopping the floors and stuff like that? I or? clean. I'm very clean. Yeah? I'll clean before I cook. Okay. Like, you know, I'm, if I had to pick between cooking and cleaning, clean, I got to do. Like, I'm, I'm clean. Okay. Really? Nice. That's a nice. I feel like that's more important. I feel like we learned a lot about you. Yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of nonsense. Is there, is, there, is there anything else? Like, <laughs> you got to talk about some music. Your music taste is very unique. You know, I don't know if that really exists nowadays. Free, I'm a freestyle girl. Yeah. I love freestyle. I saw you recently with Cynthia. Oh my god! Over the summer, I met Cynthia. That's a dream come true. I'm Suave. Assuming. My mom was in love with Suave. <laughs> She'd be like, "Why did you say that?" Um, oh, it was so much fun. I like little Susie. Real love for me. Was funny game to you. You played your games. You know that one and no. broke my heart into. <laughs> so singing is not in your arsenal. Why you don't think I sing good? I know, I'm, I'm just saying. Say, I'm maybe American Idol for me. <laughs> no, San Remo. You got a shot. You think you I'm making on San, San Remo? Uh, they should do San Remo of the freestyle guys. That'd be nice. New freestyle music. You got perform it. Why they don't have new freestyle music? That they should. That's what I'm saying. They should. I don't know why nobody listens to it anymore. Yeah, but I, see, best. like you were just saying, I don't know that one, but like Stevie B. You're my fantasy girl, Johnny O. Johnny O, yeah. TVB. Spring love, come back to me. That's a good song. Come back to me. Yeah. Party your body. Oh, Stevie, Stevie. What about, what, what's this one? should make a playlist. Yeah, like, I'm going to do one. You guys, right. I got to see if you know it. Oh, my God. What is that one? Hold on. I'm oh, fucked up. I forgot the name of this. I know, Come I forgot the name of it too. Sing it a little bit. I'm writing this. Mm-mm-mm oh, oh, to let love you. letter. Yeah, yeah. I write to you, <laughs> love letter. <laughs> Cynthia. Our parents like probably went out to the same definitely. clubs. Yeah, all 100%. Definitely, definitely. Uh, definitely. They're all <laughs> dancing. You want to see my dance move, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> well, our, parents, our parents are Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't saying that. Yeah, it's just, no, you know, we have an uncle that definitely was like that. Yeah, is he don't, yeah, he don't. don't. Is he single? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we got like to keep, keep, keep our Tio away from him. <laughs> I'll do a little older. Yeah? I'll take How, a little how much older? older? Like 50? Like 45? 40? Okay. 45, wow. That's almost, I'm in love with the man nearly and twice. I my age. Age. That's reggae. Uh, no, oh, yeah, that is. That's crazy. Oh, they do it, double it. Uh, so listen, you, you have a lot of fans out there and I don't see you ever asking for them to like buy stuff from I mean, very oh, rarely. Yes. No, I don't. But now's your chance. How can people support you? Like if you if you're a fan of La Italian Princess, what's the best way to support? Well, I have my little necklaces on now. So I have like a little collab with this brand Cosenza NYC. So you could go and get like the Gabriella or Angelina necklace. But I don't really ask for money from my fans. Like, people want to do merch. I might start doing merch just to have. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I don't really ask. I, I do a pro bono business. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, supporting me is, like, watching my videos, engaging with my videos, mm-hmm. commenting, leaving liking. Leaving a nice comment. Leaving a nice comment, it, sharing them. That's how, I don't ask for much from my fans. I, are you still doing on Instagram the subscribe stuff? Oh, Instagram was killing me. Why? I don't know why they were doing this. So, like, I was doing, like, a subscription where... If you subscribe, like I'll do recipes yeah. with my nana, blah, blah, blah. But like so many people were DMing me and, and texting me, oh, I'm trying to subscribe, but there's a wait list. I don't oh. know what. And I'm like, what do you mean? I were tried the videos to... there? There was videos there, yeah. 
So like, so weird. it was so weird. I had so many, oh, I'm trying to do it. There's a wait. So like when I did my subscription, there was like 10 people subscribed and I was like, oh, geez, I guess nobody likes me. But then I was getting so many people. I'm trying to subscribe. I'm trying to subscribe. You should try to do it on another platform. We'll, we'll talk about it after the Only show. Only fans? No, 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 no. Like YouTube. I know I got to do YouTube. Well, now that you mentioned, you would, you would, would you consider it? Everybody says to me to do OnlyFans. I would never do it. Okay. No, no, no. no, no she got, cool. she got class. I would never do it. I and I. Not, have, not that if I, you are. It's not. I like have not. nothing against people who do OnlyFans. Uh, power to you because you're making stupid money. Killing it. And yeah. I look like the clown because I'm over here scraping pennies together while well, while people are making while people are making stupid money. But I just wouldn't do it. Personally. What's the weirdest message you've ever got? I can't say it on camera. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody like ever ask to buy your socks or something? Yes. That's what My I was socks, like, yes. You should do that. Are no. you selling them? What? Are you selling them? No, but... Game let's say, let's say game worn socks, socks, right, are, are 10 bucks. <laughs> Just hypothetical. I don't know how much they are. But you said $100 socks. You don't think there's a market for if that? If somebody asked me to buy my socks, I would say... If a regular person asked me, I would say no. If a guy like this, I would say, here they, yeah. here they are for free. <laughs> there's the weak spot once again. How do you know if somebody's for this? Like, like if somebody's like that. Is there, is there a way to know? I they would, come recommend I it? would say, let, you want to go on a plane? They'd be like, no, I'm on a no-fly list. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Florida? We got to drive. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That's can, you buy- can, can you imagine watching this and not knowing what we're talking about right now? I mean, by now they have to know. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, there is a couple that I don't know, but... Like, that's like that's gangster when she did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because only OG said to me, he's, yeah. you know, he went that way, what are you going to do? You know, but, and this is like the most we've ever actually even spoke about that on a pod. Definitely. But um, okay, what's next for you? You've been killing it the last two years. Seven posts a day. Seven posts a day. <laughs> Ten posts a day. Ten, Ten posts a day. What else? Am what I are doing? you nuts? But what else am I doing? What What is your dream out of all this? Yeah. What's the end end goal? I want to be a married woman with kids. Really? So that's like what I I like. I figured like this is what I'm doing now. It that makes I'm your single. dang pool bigger. But I mean with social media wise and like in um, that field. See, that's the thing. I don't see myself being on social media forever. Singer, actress, you know, reality TV. Maybe Italian reality bachelorette, TV. Italian you know? bachelorette. But I always thought like this was just to do for fun now. And then I get married and I have kids and now I'm worried about my Born kids. Off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You and let I'm, it all go? That's it? And then I let it all go like an Amish person. No social media anymore. Wow. That's crazy. So hopefully the people watching, they probably don't want you to get married. You would, you would <laughs> get, they you want would the content. Give, you, give you, know? It all. you don't think you could do like I could probably do like housewife content. Hundred like. percent. I would probably do that. Yeah. Why would you give it up? I would probably be, like look what I made for my man today. Like <laughs> then, okay, I packed him some like, strawberries. But then they'd be like, all right, can you show your man? I'd be like, I can't show him. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna make this is gonna be like a oh, channel no, on like, one. Or it could be like, come visit me to come see my man in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely gonna. There because so your your family's probably giving you advice. Find a nice good man, and oh, you're like, no, no, no. I no. said to my nun that because my nun one time asked me what kind of guys you like, and me, I'm a jokester. I said, nun, I like my fuse. Oh, you're not, you're not joking. My <laughs> yeah, you're not joking. <laughs> it's not really jokester my vibes. Said, You'll never come in this house again. So it's hilarious. Well, whoever he is, this guy is going to be watched under a microscope <laughs> the whole time. So best of luck okay. to whoever that is. Yeah. They, is there anything else you want to say before? Uh, we? Everything I said today was a joke. I don't yeah. mean anything. This there is all. Go. This is all a but joke. But if you're one of these, but if you're one of there's, these, there's an email. <laughs> reach out. <laughs> Business inquiries only. Right. You, Wing. They gotta send the paperwork to you. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have your PO officer give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Bon and Thank you, these. Which I, ones do I look at? Oh my god! I didn't even know they yeah, were over there. That's for me. 